You already know. It's your boy Pale, man. Right now, shout out to the progress report. Tune in, check in. You understand me? Big old facts. That way. Indeed. The progress report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is the Progress Report. Boss Brit, the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. Amen. You already know this, your boy, Pale. Okay. okay. Look, he came in on cue. Okay. Yeah. He came Check in on cue. Check it in. Check it in. Oh, shit. That's what's up, man. This is a legendary moment. Super yeah. surreal moment. You know what I mean? Like, my mom watching this shit. I remember when um, the y'all first CD came out. Oh. You know what I mean? And... Um, I can I could probably name the lyrics from every song on that on that project, <laughs> but it it just meant a lot to me, you know what I mean? Because like I said, we from Ohio, so you know the southern music was always my shit. Mm -hmm. But you know, y'all definitely. Oh, go ahead. I seen them in Ohio. The one time I was in Ohio, yeah. they was there when the songs was like okay. buzzing. Atlanta, and Ohio, always. Akron, I think I saw y'all Akron or something. Like it's that. a straight shot. But nah, y'all music definitely just, you know, just I grew up with the music and I appreciate you for being here. This really means a lot. Thank yeah, you for having me. Thank y'all for having me. Y'all had sure. people throwing imaginary shit up in the air and then <laughs> catch it, you oh, know? Yeah, man. We, brought, we brought the fun back to right. it. Really dope. That's really fun. That's that that era was really. one of the most fun eras, I mm. think. That's a fact. Right. We brought the fun back to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, where I'm from, when you grow up, even back in the day. The gangsters boogie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. All the gangsters dance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. True. We came upon a time where, you know, the gangsters got too too hard. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never about it ain't never about the how you, how it look. The outside, it's about mm. the inside. Yeah. If you're a gangster, you're a gangster. You know that's a saying? fact. Too many people trying to play a role, you know, when yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, just for the people that's listening out there, you know, we talking about uh, you know, them franchise boys, of course, you know what I mean? Um, definitely just trendsetters in this game and this business and shit not just to atlanta but just to everywhere yeah, just hip-hop as a whole you know what i'm saying yeah we open up a lot of those right so, my white tea i wanted to ask you one question i've been dying to ask this question you mm -hmm. know what i mean like did you have to use cellular laundry detergent back in the day to clean out on big ass <laughs> t-shirts and shit you <laughs> probably buy new right we bought a new t-shirt <laughs> okay every day okay yeah, that's Hell yeah. Yeah. every day you know back then they didn't make t-shirts vertical Mm. Made them horizontal. Yeah. <laughs> so the so the bigger your X went, the wider it got. Yeah, that's a fact. So you'll get a three X shirt. It'll be wide, but it'd be short. That's okay. a fact. I know that. Okay, I remember okay. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before you know, before us, we the one who created the tall tees. Yeah. We start stretching the t shirts. Yeah. Out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Bro, I remember I went to college and I had I went to a flea market before, shirts, right? Yeah. And I got like thirty white tees. <laughs> All tall tees. Now I look back, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? I just think of hella laundry, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we used to all wear them big ass t shirts. Like, and I just got to ask my mom, like, yo, was you doing hella laundry back in the day? Yeah. I don't remember. But they were $5 though. True. That's you know a mean? fact. True, $5. true, true. And back then, there wasn't no tax on the t shirts. You mm -hmm. just pay $5 to get the t shirt. So That's $5, you, you, you get a t shirt every day. You know, in the hood, you true. get a t shirt. If it don't Anywhere. get dirty, you're going to rock it the next day. That's a fact. If it don't get dirty, you're going to rock it the next day. You see what I'm saying? As soon as you get dirty, you're going to spend another five on another T-shirt. Facts. And the cool thing about that, though, you know what I mean? Like, because jerseys was in, but the cool thing about the white tees, everybody could afford one. Everybody could get access to the white tees, so it didn't cost much, especially if you was coming from a, you know, a... Uh, uh, Underprivileged, you know what I mean? Background, everybody could be cool. Niggas could That's get a white tee, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Real so shit. I'm gonna get some background on it, right? Okay. You know, in white tee, when we say fuck a throwback, we clean our white tee. Mm -hmm. All right. I was the biggest throwback buyer, for sure. Probably in the city. Mm -hmm. I bought the I bought the throwbacks with the hats, mm -hmm. with the matching F O ones. Yeah. You know, every weekend. <laughs> I just got tired of buying them in jerseys. So that's how the fuck whole concept of even white tees start coming start coming about. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man, fuck fuck a jersey, man. We just gonna rock the white tee because mm -hmm. you know it get hot. Mm -hmm. So soon as first thing you doing in the club, as soon as it get hot, coming out the jersey. Mm -hmm. Ace out. You know what I'm saying? So it's my way to skip the process. Mm -hmm. Save some money at the same time. True, true, true. Yep. Um now with that, you didn't make the beat for that one. You made the beat for the Lean with a rock with. Right, right, right. Okay. Crazy. Um, another I huge record, that shit, that shit. right? Yeah. 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 Still a huge record that still go crazy. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, um, I got so many questions, but I guess let's talk about talk about just the moments when all those songs was just out there. Like, you kept was, hitting them with them, too. kept coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was. I mean, like at that time, it, it, it wasn't like it is now. Mm. So you know, it was like I was really living in the moment. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm not really thinking about. I understood what was going on at the time. And I used it to my full capacity, mm-hmm. but I didn't really. I'm a street dude. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I'm a real street dude, and I come from it. You see what I'm saying? And no matter how big I got, my roots stayed tied to the streets. And so I was around the same people I grew up around, and I was around everyday people. Mm-hmm. And me being from the hood, they didn't treat me like a superstar. They treated me like how, how I've been, as I've been popular in the hood. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, at home, I never got that different love. So you ain't know you was a celebrity. No, I knew it, uh, but we ain't treated. My homies treat me like me. I'm me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? The TV don't, they don't, they don't matter. They don't really mean that I'm me. So when I'm in the hood, it's just, that's Lay. What's up, Lay? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so I really didn't feel like a superstar. Mm-hmm. I didn't really know what a superstar was. Mm-hmm. I, just know I, I just know I was famous. I was on TV. So everybody said I was famous. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. Um, okay, well, coming up in Atlanta, like, who were some of your influences, like, when you was just listening to music, before you was even into music, before you was doing music, I should say? Uh, you know, the regular, you know, everything with a reel on the radio, you know, um, besides street groups, you know. Uh, you know, Sammy Sam was popping then, you know, in the streets. You know, you had Diablos, uh, you know, Daytona Boys, I mean, Daytona Family. Um, but I never really, I never really wanted to be a rapper. It's just something that just happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on the fly. You know, um, when I was in high school, I did the Lingo Art Festival. So I wrote a song so I didn't have to go to class. <laughs> and, um, and it was a song called Money. So I wrote like a hook. It was, I kind of wrote it like a rap song slash poem mm. type. You see what I'm saying? And um, I did it. They went crazy. Uh, went to college. Uh, ran into my other group member, Pimpin' up there. Um, recorded the song. It got hot. Six months later, we had a deal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. So, like, the first song I ever did, my life was a hit. It's like, it's an underground hit. Like, one of the biggest songs in the, out of that generation on the West Side. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I used to do shows, and I would do White Tea first. Mm. Then I would perform my song Money afterwards. Mm. And then doing that, this White Tea got buzzing. So when I went back to college, mm. when I came back, it, the, shit was, the shit was hot already. You see what I'm saying? Ran into a few people. The shit got on the radio. Shit, six months. Shit, we, shit it was, it was like paper contract time. Yeah. Facts. Crazy. Um, what was the paperwork like back then? Did y'all do like a good contract or a bad contract? How was that? We did a record, a regular record deal contract. You gotta understand, before we came out, none of this stuff was even thought about. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It really wasn't even the internet. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it was the internet, but it wasn't internet. Like, nah, it know, wasn't. It was like you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what like you mean. the only social site we had was MySpace. MySpace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It really wasn't even no YouTube. With right. people wasn't like I was going on YouTube. It wasn't right. none of that. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So we kind of opened the doors and started like, like set the fire to all that. Now we were the first one to go platinum on ringtones. Mm-hmm. Did nobody know how to get paid on ringtones? That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? So fact. like, like <laughs> ringtones, all, yeah. all this stuff right here, like we. It, we introduced it to us, you know what I'm saying, to the world, and kind of like, like we the pioneers of half this shit that's going on right now. Seriously. That's true, and I heard in an interview you said you don't feel like y'all get the acknowledgement or the credit that y'all deserve, which I, I, I definitely agree to that, you know what I mean? But it just kind of just is what it is, but at the same time, niggas know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, like like I say, man, um, I don't seek validation from, no, from nothing to nobody. Mm-hmm. Right. I do what I do. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And, like, I could do like a lot of dudes do, and every time I do something, I could put it on IG. I could shoot mm. videos on it. Right. You see what I'm saying? I'm in the community. Every day I'm going to schools. I'm reading, I'm reading the kids. I'm in elementary schools. Mm-hmm. I coach football. I'm with these kids three, four times a day. Right. I could easily put that on. I don't do it for validation. I do it because where I'm from, you the big homie, that's what you're supposed to do. You're the leader of the community. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you, you got to lead it. You see what I'm saying? And um, like, So when it comes to the music thing, I'm humble. So... When people say I did this and I did this, I don't feel like it's for me to be like, no, you didn't. Mm. Yeah, if you if that what you want to tell people, that what you tell people. True. You see what I'm saying? But it comes a point in time where the truth need to be spoke, mm-hmm. especially when it's the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, before we came, it wasn't it wasn't even underground artists on the radio. Period. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. If you was on the radio, you were signed by a major label, and I ain't talking about signed to signed to. Uh, fire and fire sound the university. No, you were signed straight to the major label. They put your shit out. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? We was the first people to have number one record on the radio and wasn't even signed. True. Like we didn't even have a label. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We the one who made these labels start hiring 
black a and R's to come to the projects mm-hmm. to find groups like us. Mm-hmm. We the ones that made these niggas get jobs at these labels. These same niggas who got these big labels around to this day. Like, if it weren't for us, it wouldn't be none of this shit. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Niggas don't talk about that shit. Fact. Who gonna, who gonna, who gonna dispute it? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Before we came out with Fruity Loops, niggas weren't known Fruity Loops. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We made everybody feel like they can make beats. You know why? Because we made beats. We make our own beats. Mm-hmm. So you, mean, you made Lingua Rock with it on Fruity Loops? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, yep. that's hard. We made White Tea, All oh, I Think to Like Me, all the songs you saw on that first album on Fruit Loops. You know, on our first album, we had 12 songs. Um, Pimp produced Pimp produce three, I produced three, Pino produced six. Mm-hmm. So we produced our that's own. Crazy. We did yeah, our yeah. own stuff, you see what I'm saying? And we, we gave people the hope, be like, if they did it, we can do it. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Do anybody talk about it? No. You talking about all these dances that everybody talking about? Man, we've we been doing that. You yeah. can look at the first White Tea video. Yeah. The motorcycle, the job, all we was doing shit. that on all that. The walk it out, the two step, we've been right. doing that. All that we started all that. They just they just gave these dancers name. Right. Cause right. we wasn't giving no dancers name. We was just doing them. Pool palette, you see all what I'm saying? Stuff, yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? We started all that. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Before when White T came out, you didn't know not another other group from Bankhead. Or from Atlanta. That's period. Right. You didn't know nobody. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? And then we didn't go, we didn't get swag from nobody else. We only went to the pool palace. Right. You see what I'm saying? We did songs and went to the pool palace. So when I talk, it's a fact. You see what I'm saying? And it can't no and only thing people are gonna say is you're right. If you go on my IG page, you look at the comments, everybody's like, You're right. <laughs> they got to. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, from being from a whole completely different state, you know what I mean? I know, you know what I mean? That's when I that's why I fell in love with it. I'm like, bro, this is some raw shit. This mm. is fun. And then like you said, y'all definitely opened up the door just for not just other artists in Atlanta, but just everybody else to know, like, oh shit, we can really, you know, try to do this ourselves. Like, you know what I mean? So y'all definitely are appreciated, you know what I mean? But um it's just it's just crazy though that people yeah. don't acknowledge you know what I mean? Just those beginnings. How many how many artists are, how many artists or groups in Atlanta that went platinum? Not more than five. We own it. Yeah. <laughs> we own it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like niggas don't even sell records. You know what That's what I'm saying? True. We sold records. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? We sold records and we did downloads, we did ringtones, we went platinum on all that shit. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So like the numbers there, niggas wanna speak numbers. And we got numbers. We the only group in hip hop history to ever have two number one singles back to back. You see what I'm saying? 2005, or oh, I think they liked me, and 2006, we laying with a rock with it. Ain't nobody ever did that before. Right. You see what I'm saying? History shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't talk about that now. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like now, I'm at a point now, it's time to tell this story. You Absolutely. see what I'm saying? Because you I'm know, glad you are. Even the music now, all the music now sounds just like our music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even right now, all it looks at on the Migos t shirt, ain't number white T. Mm-hmm. But you, you gotta understand, saying? though, I mean, uh, even though, like, people aren't specifically giving you credit like you guys were influential and uh there's so many things like just the way people set trends as far as dressing I ain't gonna be like ah I did that because Quavo did that but he was influential to a whole thing you know so I feel like you feel like people biting off of you but you were influential maybe they just not saying directly that but I mean we all grew up off of that you Mm. know what I'm saying I mean it ain't it ain't from that standpoint when they speak Atlanta, they not any fans, right. you right. never hear them franchise boys. Right. Which and you is, guys And nigga, we in every fucking category that you even talk about when it comes to Atlanta culture, nigga. Yeah. We created the fucking culture. Yeah. The whole culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Nah, you y'all You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we the whole fucking culture. Then right behind us, if you want to talk about the culture, as far as the culture, mm-hmm. if you want to right behind us, Shot Boy came right behind us. They mm-hmm. from Born Home, my project. Mm-hmm. Grew up with these niggas. Mm-hmm. They came with the rock star shit and made everybody go skinny jeans and shit. That's a big thing. Nigga, fact. Bankhead create the fucking culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now everybody's on the road. Nigga, don't talk about that shit. Yeah, you see what I'm true. saying? Nigga, Bankhead is the shit, nigga. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, R.I.P. to Shardy Low, too. Facts. Yeah. Char- yeah. R.I.P. Low. You know what I'm saying? Like, they came right behind us. Like, niggas from my projects, from my one projects, mm-hmm. nigga came out and changed the world. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? The fucking world. It's, I mean, there's so much talent. Still to this day, you know what I mean? I, I fuck with a couple of artists from the west side of Atlanta, yeah. you know what I mean, that's, that's doing their thing. And I saw that you too, you know what I mean? You be fucking with the artists and shit, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but it's just so much raw talent there, you know what I mean? What is yeah. it in the air? Like, what's what, what's <laughs> different? Like, like I'm saying, like, you know, with music, like, that's something that's first nature to an Atlanta person, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Whereas if you coming up in Iowa or something, it ain't first nature, you get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. what is it about, you know, just Atlanta and music? I think because we experience every phase of of the culture 
what I mean I mean, when I say that is like Atlanta's a hub. For right? sure. Half the people who come here is from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they're going to always run to somebody from Atlanta. Right. All right? And they're going to always deal with somebody from Atlanta. So if they come down here from New York, we catch New York swag. Mm -hmm. Stuff the niggas from New York do, they scheme, they, the way they move, mm -hmm. we catch it. We add it to the Atlanta flavor. That's niggas come from Cali, we come, they come down here, right. we, we, we take it, we, we make it ours. I'm gonna tell you one thing Atlanta good is doing is we good at soaking up shit and taking it. That's real. You know what I'm saying? True. And we and we and we'll take that shit and we'll we, we do what I do with it. You know what I'm saying? But we the hub, so we get a chance to experience everything. Mm -hmm. And I think we that adds flavor to what we do. You see what I'm saying? So now we can make music that LA niggas can vibe with because we know right. LA vibes. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? We can make music that 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 people in New York fuck with, East Coast fuck with because we in a we in a vibes. Right, you see what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. And and another thing too, y'all was able to make a full blown hit off of one line that might have been used in a different song. You feel me? Like y'all say like, um, oh, I think they like me in one song and then make a, a whole new hit out that shit. <laughs> that's that's the <laughs> Like, that's the, for real. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Because every song you hear, you're going to like a line in that song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That line sits with you. You see what I'm sure. saying? So you take that, you take you take lemons, you make lemonade, you make <laughs> lemon candy, you, know you make lemon bubble that's bubble. Real. You know what I'm saying? So we, you, it's like that. We take it, we break it down, we make different forms of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And recycle it. Just like everybody do that. They take old school beats, they bring them back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everything is a recycle, so That's why not right. recycle our own shit? That's so right. how do you think you guys are so innovative, like doing stuff that, you know, uh, wasn't out before, wasn't imaginable? Like what keeps, what kept y'all like keep pushing the limit? And for people nowadays, like what you gotta do to, you know? Be yourself, mm -hmm. like ain't nothing better than being yourself. How you gonna create something and do something that nobody ain't seen before if you always doing something somebody else did? You know That's what I'm a saying? Fact. And you got to be able to take chances on what you do. You know what I'm saying? Failure is going to be an option. But when you're doing what you like to do, it's going to catch. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't, we didn't do them dances and just be like, oh, it's going to catch. We just did them because that's what we fucking did. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And them beats kind of make you do that shit. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take yeah. over your body. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. for real. Yeah. 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 So what's like the plan, drive. man, like, with teaching, like, the history and, like, really putting people onto what y'all did for Atlanta? Like, what y'all got planned? Like, a tour, documentary, movie? Uh, nah, man, I'm just, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just pushing, the, you know, just pushing the story. You know what I'm saying? Just pushing the story because right now, Atlanta right now is, like, we are the, the culture hub. Absolutely. Like, people look here for everything. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And when it comes to Atlanta, people don't really know Atlanta. They just know mm -hmm. of Atlanta. Meaning it was, like, if you think about New York, you know, Bronx, you know, Brooklyn, you know, Manhattan, you know, you know, Queens. You, like, you know the difference. You know the difference between the type of people. Mm -hmm. When you talk about L.A., you know Slauson. You know what I'm saying? You know the different, you know the different type of hoods and different type of people from the hood. When it comes to Atlanta, niggas don't know us. It's I just got Atlanta. Hella zones and yeah. Yeah. all this Unless shit. Unless you, know you really yeah. know him, but yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah people yeah, don't yeah. know. The world don't know. You That's know what I'm saying? That, that plays a major part into what's going on. Mm -hmm. You only hear it from the rapper standpoint. Right. You see what I'm saying? You don't really hear it from the midway standpoint because there's a lot of history that be made, and it's a lot of these big artists take a lot of this stuff from these from these mid level. Artists and street niggas. You see what I'm saying? And like I say, it ain't always about giving credit, but you got to pay homage to the people before I you. I get it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And niggas, niggas don't like to pay homage. I think it would be dope to do like a documentary out of yeah, like on some real shit. Oh, it's like, coming. Be oh, no, it's dope. coming. Because no, it's, it's kind of like any artist you listen to, right, that like used to be like popping, right? You can't forget what they did until like you go to their concert. You'd be like, fuck, this nigga got like eight hits. I only could think of two. And then when yeah. everyone go off, you like, and they really did, you know. Yeah. So when y'all push y'all work back out there and put in people's face, it's like, yeah, kind of undeniable. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that's dope, too, about you doing the stuff with the kids. I was going to mention that earlier, but you already had brought it up and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so so talk about the importance of that, though, just reaching back out to the kids and, and you know. They the future, man. Um, you put it into the kids. They grow up. They teach the ones up on them. They teach each other. You see what I'm saying? So if you don't get the kids the game, then they don't know how to. When they see the game, they don't know how to take it. They don't know how to give it. If if you if they see you doing something, they don't know how to tell you. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do this. You see what I'm saying? If they ain't never seen it, never been through it. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up, everybody got game. You know what I'm saying? All your big brothers, the old head, whoever from your hood, they gave you game. They told you the do's and don'ts, how to do it, what not to do. Now 
these youngers don't get guidance. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't want to be an old person, and I'm mad because one of these young niggas don't broke in my house and stole my shit. Yeah. But I ain't did nothing yeah. to, to help the generation recycle. You see what, what I'm saying? saying? I'm, a part of the, I'm a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I just feel like you can't save everybody, but each one teach one. You see what I'm saying? You put another positive out there, and you put another positive, it'll, it'll affect each other, and it'll become a positive. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Um, what are you excited about besides that? What else you excited about, just in general? Uh, you know, um, my new ventures, what I got going on. Uh, you know, um, I just started back. I ain't gonna say I started back, but I'm I'm back on my music, music nice. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Recording. Mm -hmm. You know, she's putting that story, my story out there. You know, because you know the world don't really understand or really know my story. They just know the you know the franchise boys. But I don't really been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? More than the regular people can you know go through. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying. Um, in 2005, we had you know number one hit. Oh, I think they liked me. In 2006, we had the uh, number one hit with, name with a rock with it. Now, mm -hmm. 2005, I called a murder charge. Mm -hmm. In 2006, mm -hmm. I called a trafficking Damn. charge. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So, like so why was you still doing that? Why was you still trafficking when you got a hit a year before? Like I say, like I say, man, some stuff is just some stuff in you. It's in your DNA. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Was you not making money, or was it? The, you did have the money and you still was working. Shit, man, I don't have millions so many times. I I ain't even look. At, I didn't count money no more. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I don't have millions from the streets. I don't have millions from the from the from the, from the music industry. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm just used to what I'm used to. You yeah, we were just talking about that. Like you just know what you know, and you don't even know better because that's all you grew up, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but you know, the money the money be cool, but. I was doing it before the music. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the music, me getting the money, just made me do it on a bigger level. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And like I was saying, I'm so connected to the streets. Music was, music was my second name, my secondary. Mm -hmm. I remember times when we first started getting on, we used to do shows, you get like 5,000 a show. And my other group members, they'll come to Born Home to come get me for the show. And I'd be like, I'm finna come. I'll go out the front door, I'll go out the back door. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell them I wasn't going. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I was making more money than who was getting on shows, That's real. so I didn't I didn't want to leave. You see what I'm saying? And it's different when you splitting it with a group too. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it's different when you splitting it with a group. So like I say, like I was doing I was doing this stuff before. You see what I'm right. saying? But this stuff people don't know about. Have these artists, have the artists who come up, these street artists. I don't have personal run in with them. Mm -hmm. Whether they I don't did some form or um, we don't linked up and did something. We don't did some music mm -hmm. or some kind. Of, I had interaction with everybody from every side of town. It's not too many people from the city who can go to every project in Atlanta without making oh, phone that's a calls. Big fact. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm one of them. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, it, and, it's, and it comes from a respect level because the, the gangsters got to respect you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Sure. And, and the, the, the robbers got to respect you. You see what I'm saying? The thieves got to respect you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And it's got to be a respect level to be, to be you know what I'm saying, in that, in that situation, in, that, in, them, in them shoes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and like I just say, I just feel like with all the the quote unquote street stuff that's going on. We don't got nobody. We don't have no OG in the music business no more. We don't got none. You see what I'm saying? Like we ain't hearing from Jeezy no more. You see what I'm saying? So we don't we don't get that we don't get that lesson through music no more. You know what I'm saying? It's nobody talking about the grind. Stay down, stack your paper. It's no it's none of that music. You see what I'm saying? It's it's no and it's the other music cool, but you gotta have balance. And I feel like the game don't have balance. They starting like to in. they starting to put out some stuff like Chain two chains started talking about that. Um, even offset talking about it a little bit. Like, you know, not just glorifying everything, mm -hmm. but talking about some real life you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But this this what this what everything yeah. this what that what the game missing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? True. And to listeners though, some people are only gonna listen to people who they feel like they can listen to. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I don't wanna hear you talking about doing some trapping. If you don't come from a trapping background, absolutely. You see not. what I'm saying? Like I might like your music, but I'm not gonna <laughs> listen to your message. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a difference. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I, I hear niggas all the time. I, I know they ain't did shit, but the music come on, I'm like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. this one. You know you what I'm saying? Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, but yeah. I don't listen to the message. I see you see what, what I'm saying? saying? I don't True. listen to the, I don't listen to the message. I'm just listening to the feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like 
Like when Boosie used to come on, mm. you know what I'm saying? You heard the message. Yeah, like yeah. You felt the message. Yeah. And the beat. Saying? The shit was yeah, just right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you got both of us. I don't feel like we have that anymore in the I see music. What you're you see what I'm saying? So I just feel like now it's time for me to step in that step in that in that lane and to tell my story with the lane to let niggas know that I'm not no, bro. I was doing this way back when you thought I was doing whoop the whoop the whoop. Like mm-hmm. I've been doing this. You see what I'm saying? So and you like didn't that. get charged like with that. that stuff, though? Yeah, I got charged with all oh. of it. <laughs> so you, so you, did, so you did time? That. That's crazy. Nah, I, I, beat, I beat both of them. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I beat both of them in trial. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm black. I say, I'm, I'm blessed to even be here. That's you see what I'm saying? Right. To be able to tell these stories. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I don't Hell been from the yeah. lowest of the lowest to the highest of the highest. It ain't too many people who undid the shit I done did and being here to be able to talk about it from a positive standpoint. So I just want to be able to share it with the youngins, you know, and everybody else around. Man, that's dope. We got we got one final question for you, man. So, you know, our show is called The Progress Support. We talk mm-hmm. about growth and getting better and all that good stuff. So what does the word progress mean to you? Uh, it means grind. Consistent grind. I, mm-hmm. I say that. Progress means consistent grind. Um, if you have a consistent grind in something, you're going to have progress. Progress means to get better, to elevate. You know what I'm saying? So a consistent grind. I, that's how I would sum it up. You know what I'm saying? Not just grinding a little bit, but grinding all the time. Mm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? When you don't want to do it, that's when it matters the most. That's a mm-hmm. fact. Yeah. Man, well, it's been a humbling experience. Thank you so much for coming for and sure. telling your Appreciate story it. here and keep doing your thing. Facts. And uh, we need it. So let them know where they can find you on social media. Uh, find me on social media. I am Parlay. I A M P A R L A E. Um, that's Twitter. That's Instagram. Um, I work them two right there. Um, check still my moves out. Space? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm saying so crazy like, though. I still got a profile. I'm so crazy though. I just I got one. I found one of my old CDs, right? Mm. And um, and on it it says MySpace. <laughs> and I'm looking, I was like, wow, like this this is old. But yeah, um, <laughs> go to YouTube, watch my movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a movie out. Oh yeah, 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 you know what I'm for sure. Called the Trap. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm almost at three million in it. A little bit over a year. That's crazy. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Congrats. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got some, my new single finna drop with Takeoff mm-hmm. called Two Pots. So nice. you know. I'm, I'm, I'm back on this shit. That's what's up, man. Shit, keep going. Facts. Hell yeah. It's the practical support. Yeah.